Hello, welcome back to Building Modern APS with RESTful. I'm still Mateo, and uh, today I want to uh, pick it back from where we left it last time, uh, which is listings. In the last video we saw how L we can filter listings to match certain criteria. So that is, um, that, that is an interesting way of filtering out the items that we are not interested in or surface the items that the items that we want to to get uh, in this video we are going to keep uh, talking about listings and some of the problems that uh, we need to solve when doing listings and the the first one that you may want to solve is how to sort items so let's uh, get back to our api api slash pens and let's say that we want to order our items by by name because this uh, this is sorted by the primary id but we want to sort them by name so uh, the f uh, in alphabetical order we, we would get the first items for the the a first and the z last so what you have to do is to add a new query string parameter uh, called sort in order to sort by any of the fields and the fields that you can use are the fields that are declared and available in your in your resource not the ones that you're seeing here necessarily in this case that's true but the ones that you have declared here uh, via the properties so if you want to sort by any of this you use the public name again because we don't want consumers to know, uh, to let them know about our field names in Drupal because they don't care. They only care about the public fields. So in order to sort by name, I need to add a question parameter sort uh, called sort and then by name. And if everything goes well, it will be sorted alphabetically. So that is sorry about that. Um, that is uh, the simplest way of sorting and of course you can also sort in descending order by adding a minus in front of this so you can see that now we are sorting by reverse alphabetical order so in case that there are two items that have the same value uh, how are they sorted well they will be uh, sorted with no particular order unless you add another value here so you could sort by a uh, descending name and then by uh, id and if two items had the same name then they would be sorted by id so that's the way that you do sorts as you can see is pretty simple um, and uh, hopefully that made sense and the last thing that you uh, need to know is that uh, you can provide a default sort for for your resource so uh, if you're not satisfied with the default sort that comes out of the box which is by id uh, you can provide uh, a default sort and you can do so by implementing a method oops let me do command and override method sort um, actually it's that is in the data provider so if we go to the data provider entity um, and uh, you look for default sort info you'll see that here is where you declare the default sort so um, in this method you can override this method and provide a and give a data provider to your uh, to your resource which is uh, which is useful to to do sometimes but you don't need to to do that because this information is surfaced to the annotation so if you went uh, if you want to have a default sort by name let's say uh, you just have to do uh, something like short here and then that whoops that be an array or an object name in descending order 
So with this information here, you will get, uh, if you don't apply any sort, you will be sorting by name instead of by ID. And you can see how this is done in here. We're parsing the options from the annotation and we're getting the sort and applying uh, the name of the field and the, the order. So I'm going to save this. And since I changed the annotation, I need to clear caches. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, clear caches and once the caches are cleared if we refresh this uh, now they are sorted by ID and they should be uh, sorted by name in the sending order so um, oh uh, it seems that there is an error in our annotation uh, that is the error okay let's clear again So if you ever get an, an error in your annotation, you're going to uh, get a, a very specific uh, error, which is annotation exception. And it, that is probably uh, what you just changed in your annotation. So I changed that, cleared caches and refresh again. And uh, yeah, it went well. So now we are sorting by default uh, in name reverse order. So uh, that should be it. Next, uh, we're going to keep talking about this thing and we're going to talk about pagination and how you can limit the name of resources that you return by default, etc., etc. Thank you.